Hi, this is Brad Parks with Morpheus Data. Welcome to our Q1 Roadmap and Highlights webinar. As a uh, quick reminder for what we did late last year, you know, 2019 was a huge push for Morpheus. We did a lot of work, particularly around the Kubernetes clustering engine. So we added the Morpheus Kubernetes service as well as hooks into the public cloud Kubernetes services. We also started to make some big enhancements around public cloud PaaS services with the introduction of uh, AWS spec templates into the instance catalog. I'm happy to have with me here Dave Estes, our founder, VP of engineering, and wanted to ask him just to go over some of the highlights from the most recent release, 4.1.2. Take it away, Dave. Hi guys, so uh, yeah, 4.1.2 came out last uh, week or so. It's a huge release. Uh, it's got 80 something plus features in, so we'll go over some of the highlights here and talk about those. And then uh, also I do encourage you to just visit our documentation site after this and uh, check out some of the other release notes. There's a lot of cool and exciting features in there. Uh, getting uh, started here with a list of those updates and highlights is uh, Morpheus did a huge focus round on security enhancements. So um, a lot of this goes into the federal side of the business. Uh, we've actually done several agent updates to include FIPS support uh, for FIPS-based templates and VMs. Uh, additionally, Morpheus has closed all but one CVE in its own stack as well as Elasticsearch's stack. So 17 plus CVEs have been closed in the past a uh, few months. So uh, we're really excited about that and uh, we're aiming to further close other CVEs and we're even doing that by contributing actively to open source projects that we rely upon to help get that result. So I'm um, very excited to, to be working on that. Uh, a couple other enhancements is we did a lot with Azure this release. Um, we decided, you know, we, we got the new past features we talked about in 411 with Amazon. We're actually doing the same thing with ARM and we were able to release those uh, with this release. Um, we've also done other updates, including CSP and EA pricing support. So we can pull in that pricing data if you've got ELA pricing or CSP pricing from managed service provider. We are now able to pull that data. Uh, and represent that to the consumer of Morpheus. Um, there's a lot more coming down the pipe as well with Azure, so stay tuned for that. Next up is VMware NSX V. This was probably the largest uh, enhancement we did within the product in this release cycle. Um, we went really deep in our NSX V support and refactor. Uh, you can now create and manage uh, logical routers, DLRs. Uh, you can create and manage firewall rules within those routers and route tables. Uh, you can do edge gateways as well as um, we talked about switches as well. So uh, lots to go around there. There's a lot more coming as well. We will be adding support for VPNs at some point as well as NSX load balances. Um, we're adding a lot more around that as well to multi-tenancy support and quota control. So you'll see a lot more with NSX, uh, making it easier uh, to expose some of those benefits uh, to your developers or DevOps engineers uh, while maintaining control of that environment and keeping those guardrails in place. We've also added several new policy types to the engine. Uh, we actually can force a backup target for storage options for backups. Um, used to, that was an optional field, but now it's, it's forcible. Um, we also, a big thing we added is delayed removal or soft delete. Um, what this does is if a user deletes an instance or a VM, um, you can set a policy where that action actually is delayed. Uh, it will shut down that VM or instance. It could be a bare metal, a VM or a container and leave it in that shutdown state uh, for a period of time as uh, designated by your policy. Once that period of time has elapsed, you can then, uh, it will then automatically uh, terminate the object. This allows uh, time for uh, an undo operation to occur. Uh, therefore, in case a user inadvertently deletes something, they could have a few days uh, to undo that operation or cancel that uh, without any impact. Next up is uh, ServiceNow integration expansion. A lot was done with our ServiceNow plugin. We've actually submitted that and gotten it approved in the Snow Marketplace. We've updated it to support newer versions such as ServiceNow New York. Uh, we added support uh, for vCloud directors, Zen, and ESXi clouds into the engine. So you can now uh, provision objects in those clouds from the ServiceNow service catalog plugin. We also expose the ability to deploy application blueprints via the ServiceNow plugin. So if you're looking for a way to expose those blueprints you've made in Morpheus more easily as Snow catalog items directly without having to give them to ServiceNow and customize that yourself, that is now available to you. So really excited about that. And uh, we continue to expand our ServiceNow integration support uh, every release. So that kind of concludes the major highlights, but I should stress there's over 88 features in this release. It is not small. Feel free to check out those release notes. We're really excited about them. 
And we've done a lot of usability enhancements as well, a lot of cleanup, um, a huge amount of work with OpenStack backup support. Uh, I do want to highlight that. That was a, a big add to the product. It's something that OpenStack itself kind of lacks, but we, uh, we did a great job kind of making that more of a native capability in the product. Um, that being said, uh, we're really looking forward to moving on now to 4.2.0 later in this quarter. Uh, 4.2.0 is kind of the culmination of all this feature brand release from 4.0 all the way up to now. Um, it will be our first long-term support version of everything since 3.6. Um, mostly what we're doing right now is taking all these features we've added in 4.1.2, uh, throwing a little polish on that, uh, and then we'll be releasing those as 4.2.0. So, uh, don't expect a lot of new features in 4.2.0 when it comes out, just a few enhancements, um, but uh, do expect some more polish and things like that. Oh, come on, Davey. You can give us a, a couple of tidbits. Any, anything new that uh, folks should keep an eye out if they've been chomping at the bit? Uh, for 4.2.0, there's a few cool highlights. Uh, I guess I can mention a few of them. Uh, as you guys know, with 4.0, our big repurpose was Kubernetes. Uh, 4.2.0 does finally have brownfield Kubernetes support, enabling you to not only consume Morpheus Kubernetes services, but Kubernetes services provided by other providers, including um, cloud native ones, which we already supported most of those, but things like PKS uh, and OpenShift will be consumable via that integration. Uh, that's probably the largest one I'd like to highlight. Um, there's probably a few more things that we could go over, but uh, that's probably the biggest thing you'll see in this release. Sounds good. Keeping it close. I appreciate it. And I think we're, we're looking to release that uh, some point towards the uh, latter half of Q1. So uh, look forward to, to seeing that come out. Well, thanks for, thanks for joining us. Thanks for jumping on, everybody. As Dave mentioned, go to the, go to the doc site if you want more details or uh, go up to Morpheus Hub if you want to pull down the latest. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.